been to a lot of uh, bowl games in my career, and I can tell you this one has been put together uh, first class. The players have really enjoyed themselves here, um, the experiences that New York City has to offer, and we're really looking forward to finally hitting the field uh, tomorrow to take on uh, Virginia Tech. And I guess with that, I'll open it up to questions. Good afternoon, Mike. Uh, it's been over a month since your Terps last uh, played a game as a head coach this year and as an assistant in the past. What do you feel is the biggest challenge with a gap this long? Usually it's tackling, um, you know, but what we've tried to do is uh, stay pretty consistent within our practices to, to continue to thud. I mean, even up to yesterday, we were in uh, shells, which are shoulder pads and helmets to allow us to continue uh, to do a, a, a great job fundamentally of tackling. Um, you know, the goal is to try to not be sloppy with the football turnovers. Um, but I think our biggest challenge is, you know, with Virginia Tech and you know, all the different things, moving pieces there is to is to figuring out kind of what to expect. And so it's like the first game of a year for us where we've got to be prepared to adjust. And in the last couple of weeks of practice, what do you feel is really coming together on, on each side of the ball? What has really stood out for you as far as uh, the team being able to progress to where you want them to be? Yeah, I think the big thing is, that, you know, this time of year for us, as I've talked about, is about developing your team fundamentally. You know, so many times during the season you get into schemes where, you know, maybe you don't invest enough time into blocking, tackling, running, catching, and throwing. And so, as I've said before, you know, we use this time to go back to the basics. We actually reinstalled, I think, three of our installs of our systems on offense, defense, and special teams. Um, you know, we see this as the start of our 22 season, uh, not the finish of our 21. And, and so, you know, we try to really do a great job of developing – you know, some of the younger players in our program that haven't had a chance to play that will get opportunities to play tomorrow. Thanks, Mike. No problem. Next, we'll go to Alexander Dacey. Hi, I'm Maryland wide receiver Rakim Jarrett. If you've been hurt in a car crash, people will tell you you need a lawyer. My mom says you need my lawyer, the Jack Litch Law Group. Find out why clients, judges, and other lawyers call us the big dogs from the small firm, and why we've been named the best personal injury trial law firm in the entire country, as well as why the Daily Record, Maryland's legal newspaper, has named the Jacklets Law Group the very best, best personal injury trial firm and best civil litigation firm in the entire state. Every single lawyer at the Jacklets Law Group was honored by best lawyers in America. When the Jacklets Law Group was the best decision anyone in my family has ever made other than my decision to play football at the University of Maryland. At 855-BIG-DOG-1. Don't just get a lawyer. Get, get the, the lawyers. lawyers. If you're hurt, listen to my mom and bite back with the big dogs. Hey, Mike. Uh, hope you're doing well. Um, just wanted to uh, get your thoughts on um, any of the young guys that have impressed. I know that was a big, uh, you know, big factor for you with the extra practices. But um, is there anyone in particular that has stood out over the last few weeks? Yeah, I know you guys love that question. Um, you know, I think as a whole, all of our younger players have done a really good job of embracing, you know, the opportunities that they've been given to develop themselves. You know, we went into bowl preparation with the mindset of, you know, we challenged our coaches to come up with what we call prescriptions for each player. And I can tell you, uh, each player really did a great job of trying to work deliberately at improving in the three areas. We gave them three areas that we wanted to see improvement uh, during this phase of our program. And, and each and every one of the young players, and including the veterans, have done a good job buying into that. You know, if, if I had to call some names of guys that I think have really benefited from these practices, um, you know, the two young running backs, Roman Hemby and Antoine uh, Littleton, have both uh, really done a great job, and I expect those guys to contribute uh, tomorrow in, in some form or fashion. You know, I've seen Weston Wolf take some big steps at the tight end position. Uh, guys like Andre Porter, Tommy Akimba Sote on the D line, and, and Corey Coley uh, actually did a really good job as well. So, quite a few young guys have taken uh, you know that next step that you want to see uh, younger players take, and, and they use this time wisely. Next, we'll go to Wayne Viner. Coach, what was the experience at Fordham like? Did it add some spark to have a practice someplace else other than College Park? 
I mean, obviously the history there of Fordham and being there and some of the great coaches that have, you know, spent time there. You know, they got a little thing in the locker room with uh, Vince Lombardi, who's one of the forefathers pretty much of, of the game. Uh, it's been a great experience for our players to be on campus there. Uh, as I said before, the, you know, the, the P pinstripe people did a great job of having things organized, the facilities. I mean, we really didn't miss a beat with how we practice and uh, the way we, you know, evaluate practice. We've been able to get the film watched and, and, and continue to uh, develop while we were here. So, um, as I said, it's been done first class here.